You know, when you're a little kid, you don't know what's going on. Oh no, this can't be happening. Divorce, that's a big change. It's kind of a surprise sometimes. It's not like what you think, really. We're still a family, but you don't live in the same house anymore. That's all. I would ask Mama, what happened in between you and my dad, or Mama, did my dad hurt you, your feelings, or did you break, did he break your heart, or did you break his heart? Oh, yeah, okay, I'm kind of glad you guys got divorced. Like, your personalities are like, this wide apart, and I don't think that would have like functioned very well for anybody. I go back and forth for my birthdays. This time for my birthday, I'm going to my dad's house. And then next year, I'm gonna go to my mom's. But sometimes I wish I could uh, have my birthday at my mom's, but I can, but I want it to be fair. The thing that I think about most is my loyalties towards my parents because uh, sometimes it's like a matter of choosing between my dad and my mom and I really never want to hurt anybody's feelings. When my mom told me she had a new boyfriend, um, she, I, I got really sad and I just kind of, crying did help in that case. I just kind of went and I just cried for a long time. <laughs> And that was about it. I definitely think it had to do somewhat with my loyalty to my dad and um, also just like feeling what I thought or feeling pressure from like what is this new relationship going to ask of me and what is it going to be mean for my family and especially at a time when I was just getting used to the idea of my parents not being a unit anymore. When they were going through the process, I had a, a counselor and she, she was a counselor that handled with divorcing parents and she told me, your only job is to be a kid. There's no right or wrong things to do. That kind of got old after a little while because you're curious. You know, you want to know what happened, why it happened. Um, and so to be told you're just a kid, you know, don't worry about it, was kind of annoying. Um, and I know it was just something so that my mom could make sure I was, you know, focusing on what was important, which was growing and developing and becoming a young adult and a person. Um, but, you know, if I were clued in a little bit more as to what was going on and not have at 16 years old a big secret about your parents' divorce come out to you so late in the game, um, I think. That would have been nice. Of course, you know, an eight-year-old can't hear everything and can't really understand everything. Once I told my dad about a month ago, uh, I told him about a fifth grade graduation, how I was gonna graduate, and then he didn't come. And my cousin said, uh, you know, he never comes when you ask him to come to something. So why try? I am going to be the best dad, I swear. Because me being, having gone through what I've, what I've gone through and am going through still, I don't want my kids to go through that. I feel like that would, that would, that would even make me feel bad, you know, knowing that I'm putting them through what I went through. That may, that probably make, that probably hurt me more than it would hurt them knowing that I would do what my dad did to me. So, dad of the year every year.